Marvel's What If is bringing back Ultron, although it's not exactly the same way that we remember him, and definitely not the same story or even the same character. Of course, without spoilers, I'm going to give you guys my review of this episode and why I think it was amazing. Before we get further into this, let me clarify. I am a Ultron fanboy. That much is clear. I actually really like Age of Ultron as a film. Ultron remains one of my favorite villains in the MCU. So seeing him in this portrayed differently, specifically with the twist that we saw at the end of the last episode and going into this version here, they start to paint a bigger and better picture of what is going on. And I really appreciated that in this episode. What else I appreciated was the amount of twists, turns, new direction. Uh, I guess you could kind of say maybe unexpected things to happen. And also things that maybe you expected to happen that sort of do. But maybe there's a little bit of a different spin on things. Um, again, I don't want to spoil it here. But I think this is going to be one of the stronger episodes. And I could see how I think some people are going to say that this episode maybe isn't what they wanted or expected. And there's definitely some of that. But I think that all lies on how much you enjoy the character of Vision and Ultron himself. So with this episode, there was quite clearly a specific aim for what they were doing and why this episode follows the last one. And if you look at the overarching story and the way they were handling this whole what if approach with the watcher and the stories they told i think once you start to see how things are falling into place and specifically why some episodes are more important than others that this episode remains one of the uh, more important i would say now at the same time i will say that this like the party thor episode had some of the better animation i would say because i think honestly the way they're releasing these sort of goes with the production and the further they got along the better they got at animating and i think this definitely shows i also thought the script in general was really tight and they don't spend too much time on nonsense feels like a very rapid fire episode it moves in my opinion it moved a little quicker than i expected it to and yes there was a couple of parts i was like eh, i don't know how to eh, maybe I, I could take that or leave that but generally really love the episode and can't wait to see what comes next. Obviously, I'm going to talk about this more with spoilers and such, but overall, this episode definitely had elements that I really loved and might become some of my favorites so far in Marvel's What If. Just, yeah, I can't wait to talk about it more, which of course we will do with the audio commentary and more. And obviously, when we look back on this series and the upcoming spoiler cast. But if you guys want the audio commentary right now before next week, it's a good time to join because all the episodes will be available within the next seven days.